Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, March 14th. And by golly, some active storms are knocking on the door as I do this update. Let's uh, go to some of the Skycam shots. First off, coming from uh, Trustville. Broken clouds, a bit of sunshine peeking through from time to time. Temperatures up in the 70s. From Tuscaloosa, that's uh, looking there from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse, looking back off to the uh, west, sky mostly cloudy. And up in Fayette, some ominous clouds. Rain just north of town about 3 o'clock, and that rain should begin there by the time you watch this. Well, let's get right to it. There's the uh, severe thunderstorm watch. That's in effect until 9 o'clock Central Time tonight. That does include Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Brent, Greensboro, Utah, uh, Cullman, Jasper, uh, York, Livingston, Demopolis, places like that, back in the Mississippi in advance of that line of storms. You can see the uh, radar coming out of Columbus around 2 o'clock. And again, nothing really impressive. The rain up over the northern third of the state, that's just mainly rain, hardly any lightning there. The better storms are clearly down to the south and west, and severe weather parameters, I'll tell you now, are not that impressive. Uh, we'll check the uh, day one convective outlook. We've got the uh, standard severe weather risk in place, the slight risk all the way from west Alabama down through much of Mississippi into uh, southeast Louisiana. Check some severe weather parameters. First off, the instability, very unimpressive for mid-March. Uh, you, you know, we've got some positive cape, but not much over West Alabama, uh, around 250 joules, the better uh, instability values, 1,000 joules down over extreme south Mississippi. So that's not overly impressive for severe weather. Helicity, hardly any. This is the low-level helicity, 0 to 1 kilometer, which means odds of tornadoes are very, very small with that. And the uh, supercell composite, again, you got a 2 down there in the Gulf waters south of Morgan City, Louisiana, but uh, just... The severe weather parameters don't exactly bowl you over. So we don't think this will be a major severe weather problem. But we'll watch. As you know, when it comes to thunderstorms, expect the unexpected. There's the watch warning map around the nation. And really, there's not much happening. We've got the severe thunderstorm box here. Uh, winter weather advisories for parts of Missouri. And that's about it. In the QPF chart, uh, maybe some decent rain with this thing. Uh, we've seen the models printing anywhere from 1 to 1 and a half inches. And the QPF chart pretty much looks the same. It's got a bullseye near Cullman of 1.4 inches this afternoon and tonight. Check the GFS. This is the 12Z run. We'll go right into uh, tomorrow at noon. Obviously, we'll have storms tonight. Uh, the upper low is located north of Nashville, and uh, it's going to be cooler tomorrow. The high only around 60, and we think uh, morning clouds will give way to afternoon sun. Uh, we'll call it partly sunny. And there could be some instability showers underneath the upper low, mainly north of here, near the Tennessee border and the parts of Tennessee and Kentucky. I don't think it'll be a big issue there, but uh, around here, again, sky becoming partly sunny, cooler. Then Wednesday, we'll start the day probably in the upper 30s, but warm up into the mid to upper 60s. The GFS is showing 67. That sounds right. Thursday looks good. How about upper 70s? By golly, big warm up. We might be pushing 80. And Friday, I do think we see a high close to 80. Uh, a little moisture off to the west, but uh, the day should be nice. So uh, maybe low 80s in spots. Might be one of our warmest days so far this year. Weekend looks good. We've got ridging in place, so uh, warm weather stays around. Highs close to 80. And the same thing on Sunday. So really, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, a warm stretch of days. Highs around 80 and uh, no significant chance of rain. Early next week, a week from today, Monday the 21st. Look at the trough out west, but we've got ridging over the southeast here. So we stay uh, mostly dry. Uh, moisture tries to come back at the surface, but again, it looks like the upper ridging should keep us dry. Surface low way up on the Canadian border with a band of showers down below that. And then the following day on the 22nd, that cold front eases in here, might bring a few showers and a storm, but clearly with the upper low and the big support so far north, it won't be a big deal. Uh, all right, let's check the end of the forecast. March 30th, northwest flow aloft, upper low over the coast of Maine. And that's pretty cold just north of here, and it uh, looks like the bulk of that will stay a little north of us. But remember, cold snaps in late March and early April are very common. 
And uh, getting Frost or a freeze that late in the season, certainly very doable. So we'll watch for any signs of that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.